Big Daddy here, and today we're going to take the latte dock for a spin around the block. So let's get started. So the Latte Dock is a program you can install in any Plasma desktop running 5.8 or higher. So you can install it through the KDE store, or you can manually install it through GitHub. And I will link to both of them below. Or if you're running Arch like myself, you can install it through the AUR, which seems to be the easiest. There is also a script out there that you can install it through, but I would be weary unless you really, really check out what that script does. So once you get it installed, you can go to your menu and you can open it just like any other program. And you'll notice that it has a clock by default and it has a system tray type plasmoid built into it. It doesn't come with any shortcuts, so let's add some. So we're gonna drop our shortcuts directly onto the dock by dragging them over. And you have two options. You can either drag them onto the system tray part of the dock, or you can drop them as a shortcut, a separate shortcut. And the difference being is, if you drop it onto the, plas the, the system tray part of it, you can right click and check the box that says show launcher when not running and it will always be there and it will be grouped in the system tray. When you drop it over here and you open it up, if you open up Dolphin or you open up anything else, there will be a second instance running in the system tray because that's what the system tray does. It shows the running programs. So you'll actually see double icons. If you drop it onto the system tray part of it, you won't see double icons, but you lose the ability to move the shortcuts anywhere on the dock that you want because they'll always be grouped together in that system tray and you can't separately move them. So that'll be up to you as far as preference of what you want. I prefer to have my icons where I want them. So, all right, so what do we got? I'm gonna add one more. And there we go. So now we got a bunch of icons that are on the dock itself. And it has some very good animation at 64 pixels. So the default is 64 pixels. It's a little big. But when you try to mess with it and move it down to 48, it doesn't quite have the same smooth animation on it. Um, if we go, if okay, before I go any further, you can right click on any icon and it will give you certain options for that specific icon. Some of them will give you options like uh, Chrome will give you new window. Other ones will just give you like properties, but they all will give you the latte settings at the bottom. So that's how you would get to the settings. You can right click anywhere on the dock itself and the bottom option should always be latte settings. So you'll notice that it comes up with a grid at the bottom. And I actually like that because you know you're working in the panel settings. Um, the actual settings are, you can change it from a primary monitor to a secondary monitor if you like. You can move it to the left, to the top, to the right, or by default, it's down at the bottom. You can align the icons to the left, to the right, or by default, it's in the center but it also comes with a justify, which is actually a really nice option. I mean, I mean, all I can just say that's a really nice option. So what happens is you get these two type of arrows and anything, we're gonna move our clock into the center and I'm actually gonna move the system tray part of it over to the right. And just for to be square here, we're gonna move one more over to the left. And so now you have a couple icons to the left, the clock in the center, and a couple icons and the system tray to the right. And when you click off of it, it actually justifies all of them to where you put them. 
What you can also do is you can right click on the clock itself and do alternatives and do a digital clock. And then you have a nice digital clock in the center of your screen. And I do mean the center of the screen without having to hassle anything. Uh, normally in a KDE panel, you have to fight constantly with the clock so that it doesn't move. There's no way to actually put it, just drop it right into the center and it stay there. It just never works out real well. They actually should put this into the KDE panel where you can justify something in the center. That would be awesome. But and as you can see, if I'm looking at it right, I think my clock is off by a centimeter at the top. So we'll just leave it at that. I'll fix it later. All right, so you have your icons to the right. And what you could do is you can move all of your shortcuts to the left and just have the system tray on the right so you know there are your running applications. And I think that's a great added feature to this thing. All right, so the visibility of it. You could do Always Visible. You could do Auto Hide which will hide it until you need it and then you move your mouse to the bottom of the screen and it comes up and shows you what you have. I prefer it on Dodge Active Window which it shows all the time unless I open something up and then it will if if I open a window up and it hits the actual dock it'll disappear. So that's the way I prefer to run it. You could do Dodge Maximize Windows, or you could do Dodge All Windows. Now, the one thing I did notice with it, it works flawlessly with a full screen window, but it doesn't work flawlessly with a full screen video. So when you have when you open a video up and you full screen it, you you'll actually see the grid. This this grid will overlay itself on top of the video. Now, I don't know if that's a bug in the Latte Dock or if that's a problem with the NVIDIA drivers or, or what. But either way, it works flawlessly for most all programs and even works good with just with playing a video. But when you're playing a full screen video is where it has a few issues. All right, so in the Appearance tab, you can change it from 64 to a ridiculous 128 if you're a gnome fan or you could move it down to 48 or 40 but when you do that uh, the if you take notice the animation is not smooth at any lower resolution than the 64 pixels so we're gonna leave it at 64 that way we have the smooth animation even though I don't prefer that size of icons I didn't really mess with the screen height proportion, uh, but you do have the applet's distance where you can put a gap in between each icon. You can change the zoom hover to 100% and the animations themselves you can change. All right, so to, you can also make this a transparent background, which is exactly what I prefer. Is a, I love a transparent background. You could also make it a solid background. And if you'll notice, there is a outline of the old theme in there. So the new one, this show, solid background is almost like a Plank-esque type background. But And I don't know if this has anything to do with the theme that I'm running. It may not do it on a default breeze theme, uh, but it does have that outline edge. And, but you can also change the size of the background panel where you could make it a full 100% and it would cover all of the icons if that's what you prefer. I don't prefer that. I prefer it to be as small as possible. And I also prefer a transparent background, so that's where I'm going to leave it. All right, so you can change the length of the panel itself. And under Tasks, you can... It's By default, it shows a glow around the window points. But you can do a different color for minimized windows, and I believe it's like a gray, it's like a grayed out color. You can do an indicator for the active window group. Um, you can reverse the position for the lines and dots. So in the system tray part of it, you have the dots at the bottom. You could change them to the top of the system tray applet. I prefer them on the bottom, so that's where I'm going to leave them. Now, you could do a preview on window hovering. So right now, if you're running over the system tray, you'll see it's just... It's just icons 
and it just hovers. But if you show the preview on window hovering, you now get a actual preview like a system tray type uh, process. All right, so you can do highlight windows on hovering. You can show window actions in the context menu. So that will be like uh, when if you ha it only works on the system tray part of it, but it will give you extra options under the system tray like uh, maximize, minimize, and that type of thing. I don't prefer that, so I'm just going to leave it off. Uh, you can show the progress information for tasks, and you can change the middle click items. You can also filter it between a certain screen or a certain desktop if you like. Under tweaks, you can shrink the thickness margins to a minimum. You can enable it on startup, which is what I, I mean, if you're going to run it, you, it's definitely a good option to have. That way you don't even have to add it to uh, the startup programs for your computer, which is great. You can raise the dock on the desktop change or activity change, do an alternate session, or if you're going to not do the justify and you were just going to center it, and but you still wanted to space things out, you could add a spacer to it. And the other things you can do is you can add multiple instances. So now we have a, another uh, dock, so we're going to go into that settings and we're going to move that over to the left. Okay, so n now I could have a dock on the left and my main dock on the bottom. You can have multiple instances of this running. And you can also remove the current one that you're on. And you can quit from Latte Dock altogether. So all in all, it's a really nice menu system. And um, I think it is competing with other programs like Plank out there to be really good. And if it's anything like KDE, uh, it will, a lot of the developers that develop programs for KDE update it constantly. So it's just going to get better and better. It's already very good. A few bugs, or a few things, minor things here and there, but all in all, it integrates with the desktop. Uh, even though you have to install it like a program, it's not an outside program like a GTK-based program. Um, it, it was, I have to say, it is really nice, and I like it, and I will be running it. So what do you think? Do you like it? Is it something that you would run? Let me know in the comments below, and we'll talk about it. But until next time, Big Daddy out.